Welcome back or welcome if you are new here in today's video I will show you how you can create quiz by using Google Forms. So let's just dive in. To assess Google Forms you can come to URL docs.google.com slash forms or you can also come to your drive and then click on new and then scroll down to Google Forms. Now from here you can select one of the templates Google is offering for you or just simply start from the blank. So let's click on the blank. Now this how by default your blank form will look like. And before we actually jump in and start creating the quiz, let's just quickly look on the team. So if you click on customize teams, then from here you can select the font sizes and styles and what I always like to do is also include header image. Now click on it, choose image and you can upload any image from your computer. You can assess your photos from your Google Drive or simply select one of the teams offered by Google. So let me just take one of the images like this and then click on insert. Now you can also change the default colors. Okay, you can see Google automatically will pick the color based on the image you have used on your header. And if you don't like this color, you can simply click on it and change it and if you click on this plus icon you can select any color or even uh, paste the code if you know your uh, color shade code. Now scrolling down here you can also change the background let me just put it a little bit darker and you can see how your form is changing so that just gives your form a little bit more unique and personalized view. Now if you would like to design your own header image maybe inserting your logo or do some texts you can head to a site called canva.com and if you type on a banner you can see you have over 18,000 of templates you can choose from. So you can design your own personalized and unique, uh, you know, uh, let's say we click on this template so you can design this and then just simply download in the size you would like and then upload it here from your computer and you know again just give your form your quiz a more unique look now let's head back now to actually start creating the quiz you have to change some of the default settings so let's go on the settings and then the first option right here is make this as a quiz so you need to enable this if you actually want to make your quiz now regarding the release grades you have options of immediately after each submission or later after manual review so what this essentially means that if you are doing questions that require maybe multiple choice or a yes or no true or false kind of questions you can release the grades immediately after submission so if you are asking your audience maybe what is your favorite color and you give multiple choices of white black and red and they select red as the correct one you can release the grade as a one point straight away now while if you are doing this maybe for educational purposes not just for fun and the answers to your questions require a longer uh, let's say free form a text a paragraph that your maybe student or anybody else who you're giving this form they have to manually type something you would actually have to then read it through and mark it yourself so you wouldn't like to uh, give and release the grades straight away simply because then by default when something is typed into the uh, answer box a grade will be then released and given as a one point even if that text that is inside in a box doesn't make sense Okay, so with the multiple choices or drop downs or true or false, you can release grades straight away. So if you would like to do that, you can leave this as enabled. And if not, then simply click on later after a manual review. Okay, now if you want to do this option, you also need to make sure you are collecting email addresses. So this option turns by default, so you can send your response and then share the you know, grades with the form submitter uh, later manually after you have reviewed the form. Now here you can show your respondents the questions they have missed. You can also show the correct answers if they have, you know, uh, mark the wrong questions you can highlight the correct answer however again this option will only really make sense and work if you are releasing grades immediately so for now i would like to just disable this it just does not gonna make sense if you are releasing the grades later after manual review and again you can see how many points will be assigned for the each question so this can stay enabled and it's gonna, just gonna show your respondents how many points uh, you have assigned to the each of the questions on your quiz. 
And regarding the points and how many points you want to assign for the each question, you can come on default questions points value right here and simply click on it. So let's say I would like to assign one point for the each question, so I will just enter one. And if we carry on and come more further here on responses, if you open this drop down, you will see that collect email addresses now are turned on simply because this option is required to release grades manually. So by default, when you are creating a new form, collect email addresses option is disabled. And then if you, you know, would like to send responses, you can come here and enable it. But if you choose release grades manually by default, automatically this will be enabled. Now from here, you can also choose whether you want to send a copy to your responder. So now again, it's off and you can select between requested or always. So I like to use this option when requested. So it's just going to prompt and ask to the responders whether they want to receive their copy because not maybe everyone really wants that copy. And you know, then they have a choice whether they want to select it or not. Now from here, you can also uh, limit how many times your responders can give a response to each a question. So let's say you are doing a quiz that's for educational purposes. You wouldn't like for responses to be changed once they're being submitted. So you will leave this as disabled. And then again, you can only limit one response per question and that's again disabled. You don't need multiple answers and you don't need multiple submissions. Okay. Now on presentation here, if we open this drop down right here, you have options to showing the progress bar. You can shuffle question order. Now, if the quiz makes sense in the order and questions follow each one in specific order, uh, the way how you have organized the form, you wouldn't want to now shuffle these questions. However, if the questions are really like independent and does not depend on each other, you can always shuffle this and, you know, just make sure that let's say again, if you are doing this for educational purposes, your students will not going to be asking each other what's the question on number two or number three. If you uh, shuffle these questions, around. So that's just option you can consider whether you want to leave it on or off depending on how you have structured your questions on your form. Now from here you can also change your confirmation message. So if you click on edit you can then enter your own text how you would like to display your confirmation for someone who have just submitted your form. Now here if you would like to you can share all the results summary with the respondent or import more details what you would like to share. Now if you are doing just fun quiz about yourself and sharing it with your friends and your family you can enable this okay. If you are doing for the educational purposes you probably will leave this disabled and you wouldn't want to share with the entire school or class all the you know test results with one of each other right so now you also have disabled auto save for all respondent meaning that they will not be able to auto save their work so once they log in they have to finish the form and submit it now under some of the defaults for form defaults and question defaults i won't go into too much into the details these are some defaults you can apply generally on all forms on your google drive so if you're using google forms for several purposes i would just leave this uh, options as disabled and simply whenever I create a different form then I just manually select whether I want to collect email addresses or require all the questions. Now if you are generally doing something that require questions to the all answer especially if you are doing the quizzes and you want to make sure everyone feels and answers to the each and every single question before submitting the form you can then enable this and if anyone skips any question they simply won't be able to submit the form so they will have to go back and find the question they have missed. So these are the main settings you need to be aware of when creating form as a quiz on Google Forms. Now if we come on the questions, uh, I have done another video tutorial showing how to actually set up the questions. So I will leave the link of that video in this video description. Now some basic things that you need to know here is the answer uh, types you can select. So if you do your answer, you can then select whether you want answer to be as a short answer, paragraph, a multiple choice, checkbox, drop down, or even file upload. So if you are doing something that requires actually for your, let's say students to submit physical work that they have done, maybe some artwork or anything like that, that will require file upload, you can select file upload, okay? And then they will need to upload the file 
to the drive for them to actually submit the form okay then if you click on the next question again so as i said if you click on multiple choices you can come here and simply provide values for your multiple choices okay so you can carry on like this by providing the values on the form and if you are doing and require something as a longer form text then you would use short answer or a paragraph and as i said before if you're using these options then you will release grades later so once you have done and ready to send your quiz you can simply click on this preview you can preview it and see how it looks like so we haven't actually set any questions so it's just looking a bit messy like this and then when you are ready to send you can click on send and you can see here the collect emails uh tick box is already selected simply because we select the option of manually releasing the grades then you can send it your form through the email you can use this link to share it and you can also embed this form on your web pages now let me know in the comments if you have any more questions on how to set up a quiz by using google forms i would love to hear from you now go ahead and watch this video as a next one it will show you more details how to use google forms including some tips and tricks i will see you there